It's your boy, Willie B. I hope y'all enjoyed the, the Super Bowl festivities over the weekend. Uh, so tonight, uh, we're bringing it back up to date. I got I got me a young guy. N-L-E to the chopper. N-L-E chopper tonight. He hails from Memphis, Tennessee. African-American pops and uh, Jamaican moms. Another one of these young dudes who was just freestyling early. The bug usually bites you before you're aware of it. He's like 14 when he started just freestyling around. Played basketball at uh, Cordova High School. But his mom, you know, she saw that it, that was becoming his passion, at least a heavy hobby for him. And so she decided to try to manage him and get him into the industry. He recorded a song and released it called No Love Anthem. And uh, that same year, he, he released his first full-length mixtape called No Love The Takeover. He was a part of this collective called the Shot of Fam Collective. You know, they were shooting videos and, and kind of, you know, just throwing material out. And that, he was a part of that crew, so that got him some some online buzz. Uh, he put out another song called Shot of, Shot of Flow, and this joint just went like crazy on YouTube. And Pitchfork had cited it as like the song of the day, so he was starting to really kind of clip into the industry. And that song ended up uh, getting them rankings on Billboard. The following year, he put out a, a, another song called Shot of Flow 2. He started performing and, and, you know, getting on the tail end of festivals and things of this nature. He was getting a lot of traction, started doing things with NBA Youngboy, then ultimately started uh, dealing with United Masters. And uh, this is where I first heard about him. 2019, he puts out uh, his first EP, which is called Cottonwood. He jumped into a partnership deal uh, with Warner Brothers. Um, 2020, uh, his buzz had grew him to uh, getting on a double XL freshman cover. He drops his official uh, debut album 2020 called Top Shotter. Pretty much brings us up to the day. He, uh, he just released. This is considered his second mixtape. I thought it was an album. That was the only reason why I'm covering it. But it's not going to stop me from covering it because, you know, I never listened to the young man. I haven't even heard his first album, so. Said I was done, I'm back at it again. Back in the car, we spinning the beer. Slide on your man, I'm shooting at your friend. Knock him down and then we do it again. Black out of Matic, I changed the pen. Pull up our jack and we changed the pen. Don't give a fuck, we slide you in. Now give you butt, not the brain, not the skin. All right, so this is very interesting. I, I'm I'm thinking, like, when I first hear this, I, I hear a lot of, like, yellow beezy. That's, like, the way his flow is. But, I mean, this is the sixth installment of this song. Like, just studying him right now, he had done different variations of this song. So this is, like, his Maybach music. And if that's any indication, man, he's starting off swinging, man. I like I liked the way he's cutting through on this joint. You know, he popping his shit. Sounds very confident and crisp. Police and shit, you guy go. Cut him like in a trap, like a mic bro. Give a nigga throw sis out the micro. Push it, push it, push it. To the limit, can't stop at it. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Not like OG took it. Push it, push it. Come to murder, I'm a bit too rookie. Push it, push it. It's cool, I mean, I'm sure Tory Lanez is inspiring every single young nigga out here in the game. Um, With the way he can go from rap to singing on motherfuckers, it's dynamic as fuck. So he gets, he gets hella, like I've heard, what NLE is doing on it, I've kind of heard it in the game, but uh, Young Thug comes with just an original Young Thug. I, I don't, I, you can't compare Young Thug really to anybody. Um, so he's always just original, and I like just his take uh, on this record. Uh, this is just kind of, you know, generic. I feel like you, I've definitely heard this song many times throughout the industry, so he's kind of going with the formula, which I get a little like, all right. It ain't one that stick to the ribs for real. I'm kind of split on this song too. I like what NLE did to this song. It's low key. It's, it sounds like he's in a cool pocket. I kind of like his little 
his little brata uh word play he's doing with the hook um polo g i don't really care for his half his portion of the song you know he can he can figure it out on some i've covered a polo g album before he's he's spotty uh and i'm cool on his side of this joint but the beat is dope i really feel like the you know it could have been a better song i i break this shit out when it's time to play got sks and 30ks i catch face the far away my last kill i played the roll over snake high snake to snake last drill tried to put an ape on the shirt like it's baiting me you know you got a little nba young boy and they they're uh contemporaries in this game so it would make sense that they probably you know do a little similar flow pattern here and there i think the trouble he gonna come up with because I've, I've been watching like some of his interviews is just like you know the way he talking ain't gonna match up with the way he you know living life you know he's starting to graduate so the rhymes gonna have to start reflecting that more um because fans start to, they start to this you off that shit once they smell it ain't it ain't true what you talking about all that gun busting but you really a holy roller i mean the hook is whatever but the joint get the rock and it's got that tempo it's got that pace to it I never send a threat on the internet just to prove a point that this and don't get into that. We leave in there to the informants. Don't inform me about who informant. That's your final warning. 76 to stay like a bumblebee. He start transforming. He just having fun on this joint. I can I could tell it. It's just he playing around. It ain't it ain't nothing for me that's like food on this joint. But for the young niggas, you know, who just wanna pop some little shit about whatever, you know, this is probably super cool for you. Cause the it, he sound good on it. And I, I like his flows. Um, I just like to see his 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 content graduate a little bit, but I, I feel it. I feel it. Some niggas think they can talk about guns every record, and it's just cool. Every nigga can't do that for me, especially when I know you could talk about more. You know what I mean? Like I'd be like, ah, you kind of kind of handcuffing yourself a little bit. So I'm starting to feel like that with him at this point in the album. <laughs> A lot of bass. You enjoy the vibrations, but um, I don't need that song. You know, seemed like it was just an interlude type type of joint. Niggas ain't wearing no vest. I ain't ducking no niggas. I ain't running from triggers. I live down the bridge. Tell them bullets and shit to get really a killer. He ain't like that till he pop on the jigger. I see through these bitches like Snapchat filters. If I miss a target, must have been dreaming. I never miss a shot when I'm trying to sick him. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's just like listening to fiction at this point. Just like, uh, <laughs> so I'm kind of cool on it. You know, and some people really like it. Some people like to just listen to niggas who have gun infatuations talk about shooting niggas. Like, who don't really enjoy shooting niggas you know they just like the idea or the fantasy of it i get it you know um but when i hear a record like this this is how it rings off to me so i've heard the song before like i've heard this content before i've heard this flow pattern so i can't really give him nothing special for this song at all hop out on the block turn to his world i'm not in my cop i'm in the run if that nigga won't be take him take him i love my clock got a little kick out him nigga know what's going on we ain't talking on the phone if he don't leave me alone i'm gonna have to get him gone with the chopper like a nigga mr come on we drop this body we gonna go and dump him on you know the name of this joint is changed my ways and you just talking the same shit <laughs> i don't know what he's talking about changing i don't I can't really follow a concept on anything on this joint, but I'm a dog, 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 I'm a treat her like a dog, feed her to my dogs, hit you with that powder, I can't beat you like a dog. I like the theatricalness of this song, you know, got the girl calling and He's like, this is the first song where he's got like kind of a clear concept. He's very clear about he's a dog. <laughs> we we can establish that this sounds truthful and real. I can't even question nothing about it. <laughs> Seems like his real experience. Like he even got the bitch on there crying and everything. Oh, toxic toxic nigga music all day though. You know, this is for the the the, the dogs out here. Yo, yo, hey, race car go like go, go, go. She tell me go slow mo do. Whip the wheel like I'm a pro exotic car, like my name Joe. See it stop sign, but I go. I still drive like a criminal. No event the door, I race is dope. I actually like this one. Um, he did a very good job, like being technical on this. He didn't go too far. I thought he was about to try to super sing on me, and I was getting worried. But then I was like, oh, okay. He he, just like Playboy Cardi did. And just, you know, knew how to size it, 
but he actually did a very good job with his rhymes of making it melody, you know, and not fucking it up. He actually got his tones uh, very correct on this song. I, I, I can't hate on this. One. You know it ain't hard to find us. We might be in your hood. Brody begging to be active and make them feel good. I watch my day one turn to snake. I got him out the way. You can ask him how to follow when they jump out the tree. Uh, yeah, this is another song with a, just the ingredients ain't, ain't right to me. Um, yeah, it, it, it loses its connection on, on many fronts. His rhyme scheme on this beat is like, ah, it's boring, you know, uh, even though I'm, he's talking about the hood and talking about, it just doesn't, it don't translate for me. Um, and he probably, uh, he might've been the hoodest nigga, not just the nigga who defends himself well, which most niggas are. It's like, yeah, I, I blam at you if I got something to blam at. But if you're in these streets, if you was peddling that shit, you know what I mean? What the fuck did you get all these niggas trying to shoot at you for? What the fuck is you doing? Hey, drop shit. Brody posted on the block with a fully loaded clock. Put it, see a I better hit on pop it. Who would ever thought that I'd be on top? Signing bitches, titties in the crowd while they doing my shit. I get a bitch from after the show, give a dick to she throw up. I got her friends saying that I'm toxic. I like this look on him. Uh, this this song suits him well. Like I said, I, I'm feeling like it's more like melodic records, and and when he talk about women, it usually feels a little more just stronger to me. This is a song I could jam to. Um, he doesn't fuck it up with his uh, harmonizations. I look, I respect G Herbo because he is a true hustler. You could tell he really do this for a living. Like this is how he pays his bills. This is how. You know, because I see him pop up on a lot of features. He's really working hard. He works a lot. Uh, you know, this one is, he's not my favorite, man. You know, I listen to him and I haven't given his project a shake, but you know, his rhymes don't really do it for me. But he has a unique voice that penetrates. And I think that's, he knows it and he uses it. He favors it. Uh, nigga that I'm getting too hot. Got two blocks on each side of my crush. First nigga play get pop. Say you might shoot on go. I make a nigga stop. Only send shots at the top. Make it easy yo, for the people in our tops. Is he playing with me or not? Nigga better be yo. Too many shots can't block. Yo, this joint hard. This is like probably the like the single off of this motherfucker or some shit. He got money bag yo on it and money bag. He he show, he kind of just is showing this young nigga like. How you gotta bring it on some shit? Um, I just like what Moneybag Yo been doing on features, man. I, I'm already a fan of him, but he's like mindful of his last feature and what he talked about on somebody else's project, and like he used this verse on here to update you on that joint, which was like very poignant and and real fans of hip hop could put that together. I really like this song. Um, it brings the drip to the album. It's kind of the first time you got that. Say, He's a little nasty motherfucker. I ain't nothing wrong with it. Nah, we I get it. Go on get it. Go on get it all. This is the freaked out shit. This for the this for the women. I really ain't got no critique on this. It's not tailored for me. So I don't even feel qualified. Want them in their feelings I couldn't find cuz so his brother had to get it. Really want peace. Niggas keep fucking with me, so I'm fucking them up in the streets. Niggas police they can rap on the beat, but they still be breaking people in the beat. For this song to be the last song, I get it. I think I would have liked to hear heard it a little earlier in there to break some of the monotony of the album, but it seemed a little more sentimental, like his most sentimental on this project. Uh, you know, he's talking about his moms a lot, so you can tell he's definitely uh covered his mom a lot putting a little bit of a little bit of his soul out there for you uh, it's not my shit though uh but it feels good you know what i mean I, if i hear it again i won't be mad at it like i could bump it but um i i probably won't and ellie chopper score to 34 i think this is fitting um i think with the album concept and theme it's, it's very strong and deep uh but it just wasn't executed you know what i mean it doesn't translate for, throughout the album um, it's a very one-sided, you know, album when it comes to the content. I think the production is the highest value of this. Um, whoever his production team is, they did a wonderful job of making everything he did sound well and have a decent thump 
behind it. Doesn't feel like, uh, you know, this Joker's Jinx, me versus me, uh, clear concept, even beat wise. Uh, not blown away uh, that much, but it's some joints on here. Um, but as a cohesive project, project it's definitely got to grow on me. This is an EP. I've been judging it as an album. So, um, you know, it's definitely EP like where you just pick shit from it and you go move on. Yeah, shout out to NLE Chopper. Keep doing your thug thesis. Remember, Dave Box did it and yeah, continuously does. Um, the stock is growing. So get involved, man. And that's it for you, boy. I holla at y'all. Be safe. Easy breezy.